All right, so this is one way to know that your engine is absolutely toast when it looks like a coal freight like train. Absolutely toast. Literally looks like a steam like rolling train like back in the day. Where did everyone go? <laughs> <laughs> This right here is kind of overkill. Sounds cool, but that looks just it looks about goofy, honestly, in my opinion. Faster than anything I own, though. You know, that's unfortunate. At car that's shows, right, that should be allowed. That. The rest of it will buff out. Ford versus to Toyota. I don't know about that though. Toyota probably has a better sell resale value though. Did this Mustang crash? I'm gonna go with, hmm, let's see. Probably not, it pulled a parachute. You know, if you're gonna do this on your own property, wear a helmet. This right here had some sick music, but shout out YouTube copyright, can't have it in the video. But just know the music made this video way cooler than my voice is. Alright, this dude, he sent it. 10 out of 10 for blowing the entire rear out of that truck. It's an S10 Hello. though. Hold on. And welcome to the that Miata is hard. My name is Gustavo. But you can call me Gus. I mean, that whole lineup is pretty tough. I mean, that truck hey is man, pretty sick. These lights look pretty good. Bead locks on a GTR. Nasty. Okay. I like. Is this more bead locks? Hey man, oh, these yeah. look pretty good, man. Nasty. Where your clothes at? I'd take the GTR still. This thing sounds good, spits a good flame, doesn't sound too goofy. I'd still take the first Porsche. You know, for a Tacoma, or yeah, a Tacoma, this thing, that was a pretty good little drift. Not as good as this wagon, but you know. They're both good in their own I'm way. I'm still waiting on the coolant tubes for the Charger station wagon so I can put now the drive this train is in it. Tough. I've been waiting about three weeks. Also, the subscriber decided to leave his car here and he's going to send me wiring harnesses so I can properly wire this up and fix everything. Puts massive spacers on the wide body E30 to save money instead of buying wheels. And now you're still going to be out a lot of money. Unfortunate. I mean, that goes for a lot of people. So we got a Tesla, see what they do. You know, they think they own the road because they're preserving the earth. I mean, like, are you, like, that impatient, though? Like, that is just mind-blowing that people are that impatient. I mean, Whoa. that dog took that like a champ. I don't know why he's leaving the, the scene. This right here, what would you name this? It's got a Supra on the radiator. I hope they didn't cut up a Supra shell to do that. Oh, I mean, I, I don't blame a Mustang going at me like that with smoke coming behind it. Usually isn't a good sign. Now this right here is not even like classified as like no prep street car or whatever. Like, dude, that is not no street car. It's a full blown pro mod. This little diesel, I don't know, Volvo gets down. Can you imagine whipping this thing back in the nineteen twenties, like with the squad? That's crazy. 
the prohibition era would have been nasty with that thing. He could have delivered all kinds of uh, booze. This right here is quite crazy. The way this thing shakes, literally shakes the rust out of this thing. That truck's drive shaft uh, builder needs a raise. Of course this is depressing and confusing. This is actually one of the worst things that has happened in my lifetime. I just have to accept it though. And I felt so much more at peace. It just stripped away. I like how they just slay on the horn. <laughs> I agree and with that. So you were just wrestling with the reality of having to shut down. Listen to some Joe Rogan. J R E. Respect. Ooh. I love how people just lay on the horn, like let them know, like keep doing it. I like how they just let him go around. This right here is pretty scary. Oh! Famous last words. Oh! Mm-hmm. 